Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here. Thanks for watching. One of the biggest problems in the African cichlid hobby that hobbyists have always pops up no matter what you're keeping, whether it's Mbuna, Peacocks, Haps, uh, at some point you're going to deal with African cichlid aggression. There are a lot of very known ways people try to address that type of thing. Uh, overcrowding tanks so victims can't get targeted. Lowering the water temperature, you know, from say 80 to 78, uh, being cold blooded. People think that this will slow the fish down, slow their metabolism. Uh, there's a number of things that you can do. This is my 125. Recently, I put my breeding group of Alonicara albino flavescent in this tank. They don't like my camera, so they're sort of hiding. There's two males, five females. Maybe I can find you the dominant male so you can see him, but he's kind of hanging out back there somewhere. That's a subdominant male. The male, he'll come out. Don't worry, he'll come out. But recently, since I moved them into this 125, the dominant male has just been hell on all the females and the subdominant male. He always wants to stake his claim to the tank. He wants to own all the females. Pretty common in the African cichlid hobby. So how can we fix this kind of thing if we're not wanting to lower the temperature, if we're not wanting to pack a tank with 100 fish to you know, reduce the aggression from one target to 50 targets? There's some, some really easy stuff you can do. What I really like to start with, and I have an advantage at this now that I have 10 tanks, um, I've always got stuff on hand to use, is I like to completely confuse and upset the ranks in the tank. You can see there's a dominant male. He sort of came out, but he's around. Back to topic. The longer fish stay in a tank and it remains the same as far as decor, as far as inhabitants, the more that the bully fish is going to latch on to a piece of that tank. He's going to find a plant he likes, he's going to find a rock he likes that he wants to breed near, and he is going to completely own that area of the tank. He's going to always keep attacking females. He's going to attack the subdominant male for going after females he assumes are his. So we want to upset the balance and we want to hit the reset button to try to calm these fish down and restore balance to our tanks. My favorite way to do that, because I don't have to alter the temperature of the tank, I don't have to do anything drastic that might affect the health of the fish, is I just load some of my tanks up with all the decor that I have. In this tank, you'll see I've got a bunch of artificial plants uh, made custom for me by EliteCichlids.com. Don't forget, you guys can use Adam C promo code, all lowercase. They'll custom make you plants and you'll get a 10% discount on that. So they can make you almost any plant you want. You know, if I want that plant to be twice as tall, they could have done it. Anyway, I wanted places for the females to be able to hide and escape that bastard male when he, when he gets in one of his moods. Because he gets in moods and they pay the consequences. So what I did was I threw a bunch of plants in here. I gave plenty of places where the females can hide away from that male and plenty of plants that will break the, the eyesight of the male from seeing the females 24 seven. If he gets a clear shot of a view of the females or the subdominant male, he is all over them like a hawk on a mouse. So in doing this, uh, it throws off his balance. He's massively confused. Uh, the area that he used to think that he owned, that he dominated, now all of a sudden there's a giant plant there. Uh, so it feels like new territory to him. So what that's going to do is it's going to bring him back down to normal. It's going to calm him down in general. He's going to start looking for new places to set up camp, new places that he can draw in the females to. And that's going to buy you generally a week or two of peace for the most part in your tank. But more than likely, it's never going to stop completely. So I would recommend, and a lot of fish keepers enjoy doing this anyway, it keeps it fresh. Roughly every two weeks, in my experience, it seems the male kind of regains control of the tank, and this is the bully male we're talking about, and reestablishes himself as the bully. He sort of figures out after a couple weeks where the females like to hide. He figures out where the subdominant male likes to go to. And more importantly, he figures out where he likes it now. So in the tank now, he decided he really likes these four rocks. He tries to breed in the, in the center of them, and he will not let anyone near that. Um, 
anyone gets near that area, he goes after them, and he goes after them hard. Once he decides he really loves a spot and he's going to defend it to the death, um, which is going to be him nonstop attacking other fish, which is generally, like I said, about two weeks, we're going to pull all this stuff up. We're going to turn it into a tornado. We're going to have plants moving over here. We're going to have rocks moving over there. And then he's going to be completely bewildered all over again. He's not going to know where the females like to hide. He's not going to know what type of area in the tank he wants to defend, what type of area in the tank he wants to breed in. So it's essentially going to reduce all the fish back to an even playing field, just like hitting the reset button. Odds are you're never going to rid yourself of the cichlid aggression if you're having it, but this is a real simple and fun way to control it. You know, like I said, most of us fish keepers, we love redesigning the tank. We love making new aquascapes. We love moving fish around here, there. It's never the same stuff. It's always looking for something new. So if you can keep the look of your tank very fresh, whether that's rearranging the decor that you have, uh, adding new decor, removing decor, anything that's going to make that male feel like he's somewhere that he hasn't defended before, it's going to be all for the positive. As you saw in that clip earlier, uh, this arrangement has been going on for about two weeks now and he has started to find out that the females really like being behind that plant, so it's no longer a safe space <laughs> for these guys. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a water change, get some fresh water in there. We're going to rearrange all these plants, rearrange the rocks, get it looking like it's a completely different area that he's living in. And he's going to spend a good two weeks uh, wondering where the hell am I? Where are my females at? Where's that other male at? I got to keep an eye on him. He's going to spend so much time dealing with the problems you've given him that he's going to stop focusing on those other fish uh, so often and so viciously. So anyway, guys, in the comments, let me know, what do you do for aggression? Do you just deal with it? Do you pack your tanks with fish to where there's a lot more targets so no one gets beat up too bad? Lower temperature? Do you do a timeout box? There are so many ways that you can attack this aggression issue. So I'm curious to see what other people have used. What do you have success with? I know there's things I've done that work for a lot of people, never really worked for me. So let me know what you guys think. See you next time.